Hey everybody. Um, I just I want to do a quick little review on uh, this tool I got from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, it's right here. I'll show you what it is here in just a second. But um, just to give you a little background right quick, this is a 90, it's my 97 uh, Toyota T100 four-wheel drive. Um, I just put a brand new, uh, or brand new, I put a new motor and transmission from a JDM. Um, any, anyway, I put that in there, and, and when we were installing it, um, I've had this truck for about four years that was not running, because I, when I bought it, uh, the, the engine and transmission was bad in it, um, but it had a great frame. The frame had don't have a speck of rust on it, so that's the reason I bought the truck, basically. I got it cheap enough. But anyway, JDM motor um, and JDM transmission, and when, when I went to move it, there was, this entire thing was full uh, you couldn't even see the engine. It was full of limbs and and uh, foam and stuff. It huge rat nest in the entire thing. And uh, anyway, we went ahead and put the motor in, and we had a lot of wiring issues. Where you can see all of that, I've had to uh, rewire a lot of the harness. Um, a whole lot of the harness I've had to rewire. Even even going into to that, you can see what I've had to splice and. Uh, on up in here, um, this portion of the harness, you can see the, the electrical tape, all that's been um, fixed and, and put back into the loom. Uh, anyway, it was, it was a, you can see that, it was a nightmare. The rats had completely eaten it up. Um, lot, uh, several more places you can see right here, I've had to uh, fix those. Anyway, um, my horn didn't work when we got the motor back in. Everything ran great and all that, but my horn would not work, first of all. And my turn signals. Every time I would hit my turn signals on, it would blow a fuse in the dash. So I knew I had a, a ground somewhere that was that was blowing a fuse. It's just a matter of finding it. Um, after a bunch, after looking and looking and looking, and this was a nightmare, um, not being able to find it anywhere. I found all these places that you that I just showed you. I redone all of those. There was no breaks anywhere that I could find. I have chased this thing down. Um, everywhere there's a wiring loom or harness, I went in and, and looked and inspected it best I could to see it. Still couldn't find a place where they had eaten through. And that's where this little thing comes in right here from Harbor Freight. There is another one out on the market. It's, it's 150, 160 bucks. But this is a Syntec uh, cable tracker. Um, it, yeah, versus 150 bucks. This is where I bought it. Um, 26.74 out the door. Harbor Freight. It's wireless. The cable tracker. Batteries come with it. Um, and it's simple. It's got instructions come with it. Uh, it tells you how to do it. No need me telling you how to do it. It's it's simple. Um, anyway, it, once you hook up the uh, the leads, the way they're supposed to be hooked up, you take out your fuse, and uh, you hook up the lead uh, on both sides of your fuse when you take out that fuse, and then you can take the uh, the wand in and you can turn it on. It's got an audible thing, and you can literally follow the wires. And it gives you an audible alarm every time you mash a button. It'll give you an audible alarm. And you can track your wire. And then once you go, obviously go past and you're hitting it and the signal gets really weak to nothing, you know that there's a break in it. I was able to find a break. No joke, guys. The wiring harness where it was eat and two is in, it's in behind this fault, the, the inner fender. Between the inner fender and the outer fender, there's a wiring, a wiring harness that goes and actually comes up here and hooks in behind my my parking light or whatever this is here. It's not my signal light. I, my signal lights right here, but my it, this parking light. There's a wiring loom that comes in between these two fenders, and you cannot see it from the inside, nor can you see it due to the skirt right here. But uh, I was able to take take that skirt off after I found it and uh, I, I knew that it had to be there so I pulled I pulled this light off and sure enough there was about a six inch section of that whole wiring harness it was just eaten in two and the wires the ground and the hot were mashed together and that's where it was at um, after I've got this thing literally um, struggled and struggled with this thing for several weeks now trying to figure out 
um, where it was broken or where it was chewed into. Literally 15 minutes after I got this tool and got it plugged up and, and, and started tracing the wire, I found where the brake was at. And pull that light out, and sure enough, there it was. I have struggled, struggled with this thing. I cannot say enough about this tool. And it, it was twenty six dollars, and it works. It works perfect. Um, if you need anything like this, a cable tracker for anything, man, don't pay one hundred and fifty to two hundred bucks for those, or even four hundred for the ones that are on those uh, snap on trucks, or Mac tool trucks, or Cornwell trucks. They're like 400 bucks for those. Um, don't do it. Go to Harbor Freight. This is one Harbor Freight tool that has been been tested and it is worth its weight in gold. Uh, just thought I'd let y'all know and see what we've got going on. And uh, it now, I mean, it works. I can't, I am absolutely, absolutely tickled to death. Tickled to death. Boom. Tickled to death. It's awesome. And horn works awesome 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 thing my engine swap and track and everything is back is complete now um so i love love that tool it saved me only my only regret is that i wish i'd have got it sooner um but anyway uh i hope this helps and enjoy <laughs>